this will without fail get you chased down the street girl if you want a lethal lethal combo vanilla 28 and this that's it that's all you need. what is up guru gang if you are new welcome to my channel and if you have been a part of the gang thank you so much for coming back and clicking on to today's video today i will be sharing with y'all my fa affordable gourmands i hinted at this in my most recent video which is my fall body mist that smells like perfumes video so you will see a couple of those fragrances repeated here but if you did not see that video i will link it in the cards for you guys to check out but i had one of you guys request that i do this video and I'll post your comment on the screen um but this is also a series that i started around this time last fall and i kind of broke it up into different like gourmand themed videos so i had a creme brulee theme, I had a pumpkin spice theme, a s'mores theme. I just did a whole bunch of different affordable layering combo routines, a different variety of perfumes in each of those videos. So if you ever want to watch those, y'all, you can literally just scroll to the bottom of my layering playlist because they're all still there. I've got some almond in here, I've got some spices, some vanilla, chocolate, cherry. I just have all of the fall yummy goodness. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay. Now, you guys know I am huge on layering. I love to layer my fragrances. And the main component when it comes to layering, you guys, is making sure you are putting some moisturizer and some oil on your post points. So I had to start this video off with some very affordable, sweet gourmand perfume oil. So this one is the Kumba Made Vanilla Bean Oil and also my Nimat Vanilla Musk Oil. Now I will have the prices as well as the names on the screen for you guys, just as I talk about them for a point of reference. But of course, I will have everything linked in the description box if you guys are interested in shopping, but just know some of these prices do fluctuate. So if it's not spot on, it should still be around that price. But both of these, you guys, are dabber perfume oils. You can opt to get them in the rollerball, but I personally feel, from my personal experience, these two are just stronger when you get the actual little vials that you dab onto your pulse points. But y'all, both of these give me very similar vibes. They both smell like straight up vanilla bean extract, or if you were to take a vanilla pod and scrape out the pods, that is what this smells like to me. They are just very authentic vanilla scent, super sweet, and they just have that added touch of musk so that they wear very beautifully on the skin. Y'all, these are so good for the price a little goes a long way i have had days where i have just put these on my pulse points like in the inside of my elbows and like just on my wrist just those and i was getting compliments i was handing people things across the bar and they were like what are you wearing you smell so good and recently y'all one of my favorite combos it's super super simple super chill i don't even do a whole lot of body mist and things with it is layering the namat vanilla musk with the new Burberry Goddess, y'all. <sighs> Please stay tuned for an updated like review of perfumes in my collection video because I have fallen in love with that fragrance, y'all, and I did have to go ahead and purchase a full bottle. So I have been layering that with either of these two oils and it's just been a delicious, amazing combo. So I highly recommend you guys pick these up for some affordable, super, super cheap perfume oils that is going to extend the life of any of these fragrances or any other fragrance you decide to layer with. Also girl, if you love fragrance content and you are a returning viewer or a new viewer, please double check and make sure you are subscribed. I have so many people who continue to watch my content, but they're not actually subscribed. So just double check, just look to the bottom right and make sure you hit that red subscribe button. But let's go ahead and get back into it. So the next round of fragrances, these are going to be more of your almondy, powdery, marzipan type of vibes. And if you are a lover of that scent profile like I am, if you love scents like Dior's Hypnotic Poison, or if you love scents like Italica by Zhirzhoff, those very cakey, doughy, palpable almond scents, these two are going to be for you. So the first one is Silver Moon by Pacifica. This is one that I have spoken about in a prior affordable layering combo video, but I absolutely love this. I had to get a new bottle for this fall because I did empty that one and I forgot how much I love this, you guys. This is such a super authentic, just doughy vanilla almond. That is literally it. 
think of if you were to make a fresh batch of almond cookie dough or like almond biscotti and you just took a bite of the dough itself that is what this smells like to me it also says in the notes that there are some spices in here but i personally would not categorize this as a spicy fragrance i like to add in with fragrances that i want to thicken up so this is almost kind of like if you're cooking and you're adding flour to like a sort of sauce that you want to be thicker that is what i kind of see this fragrance as and i just absolutely love it y'all i absolutely love it it's very cakey and if you love those doughy smells, I absolutely think you should pick this up. She is super, super, super affordable. And she is also a compliment magnet as well. So yeah, Pacifica, they're just, they're a really good affordable perfume brand, honestly. But I do feel like the rest of their scents are more so like those fruity floral scents. So I personally feel like this is like the only gourmand-esque one that they have. But I just absolutely love it and I will forever repurchase this little sheepy. Next, almondy fragrance, which it does not actually have an almond note, but one of the notes in here does typically lean a little almondy. So, Comptoir Sud Pacifique's Vanille Extreme. This, you guys, is so good. And I know I have spoken about Vanille Abrico on my channel as well, but that one's definitely more of a fruity vanilla. This has basically a ton of vanilla, like vanilla in the base, the mid and the top notes. But in the top notes, this also has milk, sugar, and heliotrope. And for me, heliotrope is one of those florals that smells very sweet, powdery, vanilla, almond type of vibe. It adds kind of this creamy, nutty feeling to fragrances. And I really, really like that. Like I have just learned in the last year or so, I really like heliotrope. So that is what gives this kind of a powdery almond feel. But to me, y'all, this smells like condensed milk, like that thick, syrupy, sweet milk that you add in your desserts. And that's kind of how I treat this fragrance. It definitely smells very creamy, almost kind of like a thicker whipped cream, like a heavy cream. And that is absolutely what this smells like, what it gives me with kind of that almondy powderiness in the background. So I would layer this with something like my imaginary author's whiff of waffle cone or anything that you want to make a little bit more milky, frothy, and creamy. If you have a fall fragrance that you feel leans too masculine or too spicy, usually something lactonic will kind of balance out any bitterness. And that's typically what I use this fragrance for. So again, another affordable option, perfect for layering. And a lot of these I use like regularly in layering combos, depending on what I'm trying to add to a particular fragrance. So yeah, now let's move on to some a little bit more I see some cherries, some cinnamon, some nutmeg, those types of vibes. So this first one, y'all, this is actually labeled as a cologne. It's an eau de toilette, but it is from a company that makes men's fragrances, men's body care. And you can find this brand at Target, but the actual fragrance I will have a link for and a link for everything else, of course, if you guys wanna shop because they don't sell this in store, at least from what I've seen. But this is Spice in Black Vanilla from Cremo. Y'all, listen, I stumbled upon this fragrance randomly because I was going to order the Silver Water and Birch body wash. I have emptied that body wash, absolutely loved it. Super unisex, super aquatic, and just kind of fresh smelling. But I saw that they had this fragrance in a body wash, so I wanted to try the body wash. And then I saw that they had a fragrance. So y'all, I tried this. When I tell you I wore this for two days straight when I got it, this has notes of, on the box, this has notes of cardamom, black vanilla, and tobacco. For me, this smells so similar. It smells similar to two things. If you guys have ever smelled Majestic Green from Zara, it's said to be an Italica dupe, but it does have more of a spicy opening because it also has a cardamom note. I definitely get a spicy sweetness in the opening from the cardamom and some people could see that as leaning masculine but honestly I feel like any type of vanilla fragrance is just unisex in my opinion but then you get this super sweet tobacco like think of a cigar that has not yet been smoked 
but just the juicy insides of the tobacco of the cigar. That is what I am getting in here. And then finally in the dry down, you get this super thick syrupy vanilla. Like it almost smells like a brown sugar syrup. And to me y'all in the dry down, this definitely reminds me of something that would come from the house of Van Cleef and Arpels. It's just such a sweet, subtle, unassuming, but yet seductive smelling vanilla. And if you love those sweet, like slightly spicy vanillas, I definitely think this is a steal. She was literally $19 and this is a 100 milliliter bottle. So a couple of times that I have worn this, y'all can see I have put a cute little dip in it for this to be a new bottle. It gave me a good four hours of wear. So, and I layered it down and it didn't give me a headache. I find I like a lot of times with tobacco -y fragrances, if I overdo it, it can give me a headache. But this one's just very nice. It smells a lot more expensive than what it is. Um, this has also been compared to Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf, which some people will argue that that is also a unisex fragrance. So if you're one of those people, you might want to check this out as well. But I really, really enjoy it, you guys. And I think it's a bomb pickup for the price. Um, I also think you would like this if you are a fan of Invite Only Amber from Kaoli because it has a very similar sweet kind of tobacco-y feel. So yeah, that is Cremo Spice in Black Vanilla. Next on the list, we have Tonka by Soli Notes. Now, Soli Notes is another really amazing affordable brand. You can literally get a lot of fragrances that have strictly one note, and that is where the name Soli Notes comes from. So for this note, of course, it is Tonka Bean. And I put this in this particular spicy category, even though this has tonka, it definitely has that sweet powdery kind of vanillic vibe. But I also get something that smells a little bit like cherry. And I don't know if that's just because this is an older bottle or if that is just a note that they did not list, but there is definitely a cherry sweetness in here. And this is just like a warm hug. It's got kind of this juicy cherry vibe with this kind of slightly powdery tonka bean. And it's just super cozy. This is one of those fragrances that you would put on. Someone would come in and give you a hug and just want to like sniff your neck. Like that is one of these fragrances. But this is also another one that is super great to layer with. So if you are a fan of Milk by Commodity, if you were to take out the like milk and marshmallow notes, you are kind of left with something that smells like this. So if you love like the dry down of Milk by Commodity, you would definitely enjoy Tonka. Speaking of cherry scents, y'all, speaking of cherry scents, Fineries, not another cherry. This, you guys, I picked up um, a few months ago when this brand was released at Target. And this was definitely one of my faves. I even did some date night layering combos with this. So I will link that video as well. But Y'all, this, of course, she is a Tom Ford Lost Cherry dupe, but I also feel like this stands on its own because it has cherry, there's rose, there's almond, but also some amaretto. And the amaretto in here makes this smell so expensive, so addictive. If you are a fan of those boozy cherry liqueur fragrances, you should definitely check this out. And you guys will be happy to know, because I know this was sold out for a while. I'm pretty sure Target has restocked this. So of course I will have it linked for you guys. Just keep in mind though, a lot of times when like fragrances like these sell out and they do a second batch, it probably needs a little more time to macerate. So it may not, it may or may not be as strong, but I have had mine for a few months now and it is strong, girl. Like she lasts for a really long time. This could easily be something that costs $100, literally. I've had $100 eau de toilettes that do not perform as well as this. So if you are a fan of your Tom Ford Lost Cherry scent profiles and you want something boozy, affordable, sexy, that's going to get you some compliments, like literally, you guys, those Woodford bourbon soaked cherries, fresh out of the jar, still dripping with the cherry syrup, that's this, that's this. I get a bit of almond, but it's more so in the background, just adding to this kind of powdery sweetness. But yeah, y'all, 10 out of 10, absolutely love this. If you guys try this, please let me know, because I know some of you guys tried this um, when it first came out. So y'all go ahead, go into your collection, sniff your bottle, like tell me if it's gotten stronger, because 
I promise you, mine has gotten so much stronger since I first picked this up. All right, y'all, now let's get into some woody, sexy fall fragrances. So the first one I had to include in this list, this is another one I've talked about on my channel a lot last fall and this year in general. And this is Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere by Philosophy. This is just a classic. So many of the girls love this. If you have ever smelled the original Fresh Cream by Philosophy, which I do like, it definitely does not have any similarities to Warm Cashmere. So if you didn't like that fragrance, do not let that steer you away from this one. That one's definitely more of a milky lactonic, whereas this one is a very sexy, sensual, woody, creamy vanilla, and I absolutely love this. Now this you are pretty much going to get exactly the same notes across the board. There's no, you know, top, middle, and base notes. This is basically just going to be your vanilla. There's some sandalwood, there's some suede, some coconut. For the most part, you guys, this is a very sticky, sweet, creamy sandalwood fragrance, and I absolutely love it. Like, this smells way more expensive than what it is, but of course, she is an affordable pickup. And it just smells so good. So good, y'all. Like, when I put this on my skin, it turns into something almost caramelized, like honey-like. I don't know, but this wears super sweet on me and I just absolutely love it. So if you guys have an Ulta in your area and you're a little afraid to blind buy this, just try it out in store. Just try it out in store. I promise you this will be a fall staple for sure. Same token. This is another brand you guys know that I love. This is, I want to say I talked about this fragrance actually in my um, pumpkin spice one video that I did last year, but this is Chai Epiche by Le Monde Gourmand. Now this did used to be called Chai Eclair, but I guess they changed the name of it. The notes threw me off completely because there are a lot of florally notes in here. But to me, this smells literally like these spices in a pumpkin spice latte or a chai latte, that nutmeg, that cinnamon. And this also reminds me heavily of Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. This is basically taking Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere adding some of those fall spices in there, but then there's also a creamy fig note, which I wouldn't say this is a super fruity fragrance, but the fig just makes this more full body, more round, and it just fills out the fragrance. So it's not just like a flat linear, you know, spicy scent, but I really, really love this, you guys. And actually performs better than Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. So if you want a more smooth, slightly more rounded, robust version of Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere, I definitely think you should check this out. This is a bomb, bomb, bomb fragrance from them. Le Monde Gourmand just has amazing fragrances, but this is definitely one of my favorites for fall. If you are a fan of Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere, I definitely think you should check this one out and add it to your collection. Now this one I'm not gonna spend too much time on because I have done a full in-depth review on this one as well as the original, but this is the new Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth Flanker, the Caramel Dream. Now please watch my review if you want to hear my full in-depth thoughts but overall i do think this is a great little cheapy affordable pickup for the fall this is basically a powdery dark cacao patchouli caramel fragrance and for me i feel like the caramel is not super pronounced but it does make the patchouli very sugary very sweet so this again reminds me of fresh cream warm cashmere in that way but this also gives me similar vibes to Mugler's Angel and also Kayali's Vanilla Royale because it has a very sweet gourmand patchouli. It's a non-offensive patchouli. It's very wearable in my opinion. And this is one of those ones, you guys, you probably are just going to have to try for yourself. The reviews are super mixed, but of course, no fragrance is going to smell the same to anyone. So even if your favorite, favorite, favorite reviewer has the exact same scent taste as you and you like everything that they like, there's always going to be the off chance that you don't like something that they like, you know? Like, it's kind of like your favorite food. We can all like pizza, 
but not everybody likes the same kind of pizza. You know what I'm saying? So I just like to say stuff like that every now and then because people will say that reviewers are not being honest or they're not being truthful. And it's just like, y'all do know that we all have different opinions and we can absolutely describe a scent completely differently because that's how we're smelling it. So I just wanted to say that because so many people have told me like the reviews are so mixed with this. And at the end of the day, y'all, you really do have to try things for yourself and see what you like. Reviews are always helpful, but you just have to try things if you are interested in a fragrance. And that's truly how I feel about this one. This one is just real like some people love it, some people hate it. I actually do prefer the original over this one just because I feel the OG lasts longer. And it's just a little bit more sweet and powdery in my opinion, but it's a great pick for the fall regardless because of that caramel, that patchouli, and the cacao that's in here. So yeah, that is Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth Caramel Dream. Hey y'all, this next one, she is a body mist, but she performs like her sisters over here, okay? This is Sol de Janeiro's Charosa 71, and I am so happy that I finally own this in the huge size, because if you guys have seen any of my recent product empties, I will link the one where I just recently emptied this, but I have gone through two or three of these, you guys, in the last year, totally obsessed. This is my favorite Sol de Janeiro fragrance ever. If there was like a club for gourmand perfume collectors and you didn't own this, you would not be invited. Like this would be like the initiation fragrance. Seriously, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding y'all. But seriously, this, if you have not smelled it and you are a gourmand girly, you love to smell like straight up baked goods, this is for you. And also y'all, spoiler alert, I will be auctioning two of these off on my next live stream fragrance auction. So if you guys have not tapped in and shopped with me on whatnot yet, what are you doing? No, I'm just kidding y'all. But no, some of you guys have already shopped with me. So thank you guys so much for your support. Some of y'all have been repeat shoppers, repeat buyers. And I just want to extend my gratitude for everyone who's been supporting me on this new venture. So if you don't know what Whatnot is, it is basically a live stream shopping platform. So it is kind of like a combination of like HSN, eBay, and Mercari in a way to where you can buy items outright or you can participate in live stream auctions like with sellers like me. Um, and we just talk about products and auction them off and give you a chance to bid on them so that you can pay for them way less than what you would get them for in a retail store. So the best part is if it's your first time shopping with me, if you sign up with my link, you do get $15 off towards your first purchase. So if you win something for $20, you already have $15 to go towards it and you're only paying $5 for it. So depending on what it is, girl, you can really save a ton of money. And I'm doing a fragrance show this week. So y'all do not want to miss it because I am auctioning a couple of fragrances in this video off in my next show. So cannot wait to see y'all there, but let's get back to the video. This is caramel. This is white chocolate. There's a little bit of a creamy coconut vibe. There's vanilla. You get this sea salt pistachio kind of vibe. Like it's just, oh my God, y'all, this is just so good. This will without fail get you chase down the street, girl. If you want a lethal, lethal combo, vanilla 28 and this, that's it. That's all you need. Listen, don't say I didn't warn you, okay? Because this is one of those fragrances, a man will be sniffing your neck, okay? So if you want some attention, girl, this is the one okay so there are some people out there that dislike this because they say it smells like popcorn and i can get that because there is a buttery salty factor to it but like most desserts it just makes it smell better in my opinion so girl if this is popcorn she's poppycock okay this is not orville redenbacher this is poppycock this is caramelized butter pecan, super gourmand, delicious, flavorful, and I just absolutely love this. So I will have a link to where you can purchase the large bottle like this, because for whatever reason, Sephora still does not sell this in the large size. I don't know why. Absolutely love her. I had to save the chocolate for last, because if you are a chocolate lover and you don't own this fragrance, girl, what are you doing? You need to go ahead and grab it, okay? I've talked about it in so many videos, and at this point, I think I've had this bottle for about a year now, so I need to go ahead and empty it and just get another one. But this is all Rehab's Choco Musk. You guys, 
I do need to start off by saying a lot of you guys have picked this up with my recommendation and some of you guys have said that your bottle smells like straight up alcohol. Like I always say in my Middle Eastern fragrance reviews, you really have to let these fragrances macerate. You have to spray them out and let them sit. They get better with time, truly. I will link my most recent um, Middle Eastern fragrances you need for fall video because I did mention that in this video, but this is just one of those fragrances that turns into a truly decadent 100% gourmand fragrance the longer that you wear this. It is truly amazing, truly delicious, and I just absolutely love it y'all i absolutely love it so again there's not there's not too much to say about this other than the fact that it is a creamy milk chocolate and that is it that's truly it so if you love smelling like a hershey's chocolate bar girl you need to pick this up all right you guys that is it for today's gourmand affordable fall fragrances i hope you guys enjoyed it if y'all have any of these let me know in the comments below like are any of these your faves do you want to try some of these now that you guys have heard me mention them y'all know i love to talk to y'all in the comments but that is it and i will see you guys in my next video bye